Imagine the future where you can make calls and text just by thinking about it. The future where you can start your car, open the house, turn on and off the lights, and control everything with your brain. Save, download, and upload your memory. I know it sounds like a sci-fi movie, but what if I told you we're not that far away from that? And the question is, can the Neuralink chip allow you to summon your Tesla telepathically? Uh, definitely, of course. <laughs> Hi everyone, you're watching Story About Dan, and in this video I want to talk about one of Elon Musk's company called Neuralink. If you've never heard of it, buckle up, it's gonna blow your mind. There are many opinions about this company and what they're doing. I will not go into scientific details of why it will work or will not work. I just want to share my thoughts and opinion of how I think it may improve our lives or ruin it. So as I already mentioned, Neuralink is one of Elon Musk's companies that works on creating high bandwidth brain computer which in simple words it's a chip that will let our brain communicate with the computer and the main agenda for the company right now is to create this chip so people with disabilities can use computers and phones the way they're trying to do this is to implant a chip in our brain that will send and receive neural signals from our brain sounds crazy and scary i know but let's see at the progress they already have made so in this video from their link, we can see a monkey named Pager that plays ping pong. And monkey has actually two chips implanted in its brain. And every time monkey does good, it gets rewarded with banana smoothie. So with the chip, they learn what kind of signals go through monkey's brain when it's trying to play the game. And then they program the chip to receive those signals and control the computer. After only a few minutes of calibration, we can use the output from the decoder to move the cursor instead of the joystick. Pager still moves the joystick out of habit, but as you can see, it's unplugged. So eventually they take the joystick away and here you have it, the monkey that telepathically controls the computer. Pager simply thinks about moving his hand up or down. We've removed the joystick altogether. And then they also showed how monkey can type in the computer and do all sorts of tasks just using its brain. Uh, typing on a keyboard. What's really cool here is, is um, Sake the monkey is moving the mouse cursor using just his mind. A few months ago, Neuralink had this presentation called Show and Tell, where they presented their new research and innovations. And it's amazing. As I said, their main idea is to help people with disabilities use the computer. Because just think of someone who is, uh, let's say, someone wants to be a graphic designer, but they're paralyzed. There's no way they can use the computer. With such chip, they'll be able to. Also, Elon made a few bold statements in that presentation that sounds very exciting and theoretically makes sense. He said that with such technology, they'll be able to give people vision, restore vision for people who lost vision or even give vision to people who never had a vision. The way it's going to work, they're going to install a camera that will send signals into brain chip. Brain chip then going to convert this information into neural signals, potentially giving vision to people. Even if someone has never had vision ever, like they were born blind, we believe they can, they, they can, we can still restore vision. And that same could work with deaf people, giving them hearing. He also said that paralyzed people will be able to move their artificial parts of their body just by thinking about it. I mean, as miraculous as it may sound, we're confident that it is possible to restore full body functionality to someone who has a severed spinal cord. Il made a couple crazy promises that you'll be able to download, upload, and save your memory, which reminds me of Black Mirror episode. So, and then also what I think is cool that they made this technology that you'll be able to easily upgrade your chip. So you won't stack with version one of this chip. So since technology evolved, you, you'll be able to upgrade your chip too. And the craziest part of all of this is that they're expecting FDA approval to implant chip into human brain in the next six months. And a special robot is going to perform the implanting. Probably in about six months, we should be able to have our first Neuralink in a human. So since now we know what Neuralink is and what their agenda is, let's go over opportunities and risks that, in my opinion, this technology can present. As I mentioned earlier, this is going to be a great technology for people with disabilities. They'll be able to use computers and phones just like we do. Eventually, blind people will be able to see and paralyzed people will be able to move their artificial body parts just by thinking about it. We'll be able to communicate with computers and phones faster. And let me explain you what I mean by that. Let's take me as an example. I edit videos for a living. And let's say I need to I trim a video. So I need to communicate with Adobe Premiere, which is software that edits videos. So I open this file, I drag this file in the timeline, I select the trim tool, I trim it, I select different tool to select it, and then I delete it. So all this, it didn't take me too much time, right? But 
what if, what if I could do it 10 times faster just by thinking about this? So instead of selecting tools, using trackpad to move the mouse around and selecting hotkeys, I could just think about it. I can think that this clip should be on timeline and it appears on the timeline. I can think where exactly it needs to be trimmed and it just trims it. I don't need to move anything. And I'm not going crazy. I'm just going off what technology they have and how it works. Just imagine if you could work 10 times faster. How much room would you have for creativity? Because all, to do all of this, it requires time and you get tired. But if I can do work 10 times faster, have all this room left for creativity and I can just think and be more creative. And it's, it's amazing. And this could be done with anything, coding, making spreadsheets, copywriting, designing, all the tasks we perform on a computer could be done faster with such technology. And like everything we control with Alexa, lights, even cattle, you can turn on your cattle with Alexa. You'll be able to do that with your brain. We're confident that, you're, that uh, someone who is, has basically no other interface to the outside world would be able to uh, control their phone better than someone who has working hands. Fast learning. So it's been some time since I started my education to get my pilot's license and just like learning anything, it wasn't easy and I still have a lot of things to learn and remember. But with such technology as the nailing chip, I can only imagine where you just grab an archive of everything you need to know and you upload to your brain and now you know everything. In minutes, you literally save countless hours of all the education that you would do. And I know it sounds really crazy. But honestly, I believe that there's nothing impossible for us human beings with technologies. I can literally imagine people selling bundle of knowledge in the future versus like right now they're selling courses. Like for example, you go to YouTube and you see advertisement, learn this or learn that. In the future, they will advertise, buy the bundle of knowledge. You just buy it, you upload and you know it. So these are a few opportunities that I see with this technology. And now I want to talk about the risks, which is pretty scary part. And I think everyone should be aware of this. Pretty much every technology in this world was created with good intentions. And then some evil people turned it for bad and made it worse for more profit because people are crazy. Health. How actually is safe and healthy chip in our brain? There's many things to consider and I'm sure the team at Neuralink does. But for example, what if chip overheats? What if it dies or malfunction? What if I had head trauma? Will it damage my brain? Security. Imagine someone hacks into your chip. Now they don't just have access to your information, they have access to your brain and body. And this is crazy and scary. Can they kill you? Can they make you do things against your will? Can they steal your information? There's a just few questions that pop right away when you think about this. And I think security should be a highest priority for timid Neuralink. Government involvement. Every government will want to have control over such technology because that's what government do. They always want to be in control. Will they secretly or openly have access to information that goes through our brain? Influence us and our brain in favorable for them results for elections, just like they do right now with social media. It's truly scary to think of a scenario that government or anyone with enough power over such technology can play. At the end of the day, if someone controls you, you're not a free human being, you're a slave. Control. So how is the chip actually going to be controlled? Is it going to be controlled by thoughts like they show us right now that you think of a text and types down? How? Because if I think to lift my right arm, I'm not necessarily going to lift it until I actually make a decision to lift my right arm. So let's think of the trick that everybody knows. I'm telling you, do not think of red elephant. What you think exactly right now is a red elephant. So let's say someone stole my phone and they want to get information to my phone. and. Um, to unlock my phone, I need to think, unlock my phone. So they come to me and they say, unlock my phone. And I get a thought, unlock my phone. Does that mean my phone's gonna unlock? Or how is the decision gonna be performed? I'm pretty sure I'm going too far with all these questions because we never know if Neuralink is gonna get this far. So these are a few thoughts that I have about Neuralink technology. And uh, please let me know in the comments if this excites you or scares you because different people are scared about this. Some people are excited about this. I'm somewhere in the middle and uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.